In this video, I'm going to be doing two examples that show you how to write out a trig equation um, using your right triangle trig because you are giving a right triangle here and you are trying to find one of the missing sides. All right, so directions say find the missing side, round to the nearest whole number for your final answer there, and they give you a right triangle. They give you pieces of information, maybe one side, one angle, and you're missing a side that you're trying to locate. All right, this definitely involves your right triangle trig, so you need to know things like the tangent is opposite over adjacent and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. You have to have those right triangle definitions memorized. Now, looking at this first problem, um, I'm given this 35 degree angle right here, so that means that's my reference angle. So this X or missing side is going to be the opposite side to that reference angle. And this 125 side is going to be the adjacent side. All right, now those two pieces of information are then going to tell you which trig formula you need to use in order to write your trig equation. All right, if I have them all memorized, I know that tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so let's write that right here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. That's one of your right triangle trig definitions. All right, and I'm getting um, these two sides being opposite and adjacent. So I figure out, okay, opposite over adjacent is tangent. Tangent then will be what I will put in my trig equation. So then I'm going to write as my equation here the tangent of the 35 degree angle is equal to, all right, well, what's it equal to? Well, it's equal to opposite over adjacent. So my opposite side is x, so that's going to go on top. And then my adjacent side is the 125. Okay, so now you have written your trig equation. Now that you have a trig equation with one variable in there, you can solve this equation for x. All right, now I'm not going to uh, grab a calculator too soon. I'm just going to leave that tangent of 35 right there. I'm going to multiply both sides by the 125. When I do that, it'll cross it out on this side. It'll put it over here on this side. So I'll have a 125 times the tangent of 35 degrees, and that equals x. Okay, now I can plug this in the calculator because when I do that tangent of 35 degrees, it's going to be a really long decimal and I'm going to want to leave that whole great big long decimal in there when I multiply by 125. All right, you should then get a decimal that looks about like 87.525 and then continues on forever and ever and ever. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. You might want to pause the video and see if you can get that number right there. Since it says round to the nearest whole number, we're going to say x is approximately equal to 88 centimeters since that side was given to me in centimeters. Okay, now we're going to do another one. All right, given different size, um, triangles rotated around here a little bit, and my reference angle is in a different spot. Okay, so my reference angle is the 63 degrees down here. All right, so that x side is, again, the opposite side of the reference angle that I'm giving, but this 13 then is on the hypotenuse. Okay, so again, you're going to use those two pieces of information to figure out, okay, which trig function do you need? Well, opposite over hypotenuse is sine. All right, so hopefully you have that one memorized. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. All right, so that means that in my trig equation, I'm going to be using sine. All right, so I'll start my trig equation with sine of the angle, 63 degrees. All right, I know it's opposite over hypotenuse, so I find the opposite side, and that's x, so the x is going to go on top. On the bottom is the hypotenuse, which is the 13. All right, so again, I'm going to solve my equation now. Multiplying by 13 crosses it out on the right, makes it times that sine of 63 on the left, so I'm going to write it in front. 13 times the sine of 63 degrees is equal to x. All right, at this point, I will grab the calculator, all right, making sure it's in degree mode, 13 times the sine of 63. I'm going to get x is approximately equal to 11.583, and then it's going to go on forever and ever and ever. Rounding that to the nearest whole number, I'm going to get 12 feet for that missing side. All right, so just a couple of examples where you're finding that missing side of the triangle and you're using a trig equation and specifically right triangle trig since you're given right triangles in both of these. 
Definitely thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure and share with your friends. Thanks.